A long time ago, there was this person who was literally good for nothing. And almost everyone in his family and at work were literally done with him. Eventually, he realized that nobody wanted him. So, he decided that all this world is for naught. And he decided to go to the woods and live a hermetic life. When he went into the woods, in the forest, he found a rishi. He had nothing, but he was in absolute bliss. And he decided, this is the person deserving of my guru. And he went to him and he said, please make, you know, you should be my guru. And the rishi said, fine. But you know, the hermetic life was not really for him. Although he was frustrated, frustration is not a basis for uh, a sage living. And a few days later, you know, he started getting hungry. So the rishi took a jar and put it in his hand in the jar and got him whatever the food he wanted. The person was thrilled. Like this, a couple of days passed by and eventually he began to miss his family and friends. So he went to his guru and he said, Guru, uh, you know, it's not happening. This life is not for me. So let me go back to my village. Uh, but, you know, it's not an easy decision. And the Rishi said, why? Well, you see, you have that great pot. If you give me that pot, I can go back. And I'm pretty sure I can give great many things to the people. And they will love me, which they never loved me until now. The Rishi said, well, it's not what you think, but if this solves your problem, please take it. But mind you, if the pot is broken, then it is of no use. He said, fine. Then this guy went to his village and then he showed the pot and his family was happy that he had brought something which would uh, get him all the benevolent feasts and even good things without much of an energy. Then when you have things, you know, it is but natural for people to show off with the things you have. And he began to show, if, show off, his, off that pot to his relatives, his friends, and even those who had nothing to do with him. When you show off, always remember, you attract jealousy of people. And jealousy of people is not a good thing. So someone, one fine day when these people were out, broke the pot. And then these people, this person and his family began to wail in a lot of pain. A few days later, he went back to the forest in hope of the Guru. He wanted to get a replacement for it. But the place where the Guru was, nobody was there. However, there was this one good text written over it. It said, I was a sage being who left all the bad things in life. And I did all the good things I can except one thing. And that thing is, I helped one thankless person because of which I had to live my days without food and with, with, because of which I lost my lives. So remember, it is a good thing to help people, but don't help everyone. Helping the thankless is a sure shot way to end your life in misery. Who deserves your help is a person who has gratitude. If you help a person without gratitude, you are shoe shot your way into the misery. I hope this helps. Until next time, Pranam and Namaste.